Hello Highland, I'm Miles Howell. And I'm Brett Kalfas. And you're watching the Highland Buzz. So this past week, the Highland Art Show took place. All of the awesome art has been displayed in the junior and senior hallways. Allie and Matt interviewed a few of the artists for this week's Street Talk. So I'm here with Bethany. Now, this is one of your pieces right here. What inspired this piece? Who is it? Do you want to tell me about it? Um, this is Chris Wright back like eighth grade, and it was a Snapchat he sent me. I'm here with Aubrey Hedrick. How would you say your art has shifted from freshman year to senior year? Um, well, freshman year I had straight C's and foundations, and I was not good at all. And then I took on photography and have improved a lot, I think. So I'm here with Misty Y. Now what classes do you teach? Um, I teach ceramics one and two. Um, and I also teach graphic communications and web design, which next year will be digital arts one and two. Now, how have you seen your students grow from the beginning of the year to the art show now? Hmm. I think um, all of you have gotten a lot more creative and um, kind of taking control of your art. Um, I don't know, I see you guys having more fun with it too, kind of taking some chances. And I'm really proud of all the work that you've done. I'm here with Jake Mall. Jake, what's your favorite piece of art? Uh, I'd have to say all this Indian stuff. You know, she did a bunch of them and all of them are spot on, so they're pretty sweet. Well, needless to say, I'm pretty impressed with the art students. I just wish I could paint that well, you know? I, I feel your pain, Brett, but uh, you know what? I think you're gonna like this next segment because the Highland Buzz was lucky enough to bring in the famous deceased painter, Bob Ross. So uh, let's throw it over to Bob. Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and welcome to Painting with Bob Ross. So today, we're gonna paint um, a little landscape with uh, maybe some trees and a river and some mountains. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the trees. Maybe paint a little bit like this. You gotta make them happy. You gotta have a happy, happy disposition while painting the trees, okay? So keep painting. You remember to be peaceful while you're painting. That's that's the best way to go. You gotta draw the river. It's Water's a little bit, you know, lazy. It doesn't really do much. It just kind of flows. So, okay, okay, we're almost done with this. And uh, now we're gonna paint the we're gonna paint the um, the mountains. Okay, so we're gonna get some white, mix it with the blue. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're gonna put it up here. The clouds are kind of lazy, like the river too. They just kind of float by. You gotta feed them pace peacefully. Okay, so um, that's how you paint. That's painting with Bob Ross. Yeah, I used a hundred bristle paint, and uh, just remember to be happy. And if you try and be peaceful, you can paint your own Mona Lisa. So, happy painting. Good luck, friends. A few weeks ago, the Spanish foreign exchange students came to Highland from the Canary Islands and stayed with some of our students. We asked them about their experiences in Ohio and the United States in general in this week's Street Talk. I'm here with Javier and Juan, so do you guys like the weather in Ohio so far? Uff, uh, no, I prefer the weather yeah, it's <laughs> in Canary, Canary Islands. Islands. Yeah, yeah, 80 degrees every year. That's so, nice. yeah, yeah. It's, it sounds nice, yeah. But it's our first time seeing snowing, so it's interesting to be yeah, here Yeah, it too. was very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm here with Oleana and Patricia. So where are the places you guys have gone in Ohio so far? We've been to Amish country and school. <laughs> How was Amish country? It was fun. It was a different way of living. It's a yeah, very good experience for us. And, uh, we are going to go to the, har the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Now, what do you think of the food in Ohio? The food in Ohio, well, in oh, America, it's, yeah, it's, it's very food. tasty. It's very tasty? Yeah, but unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very unhealthy, yeah. I tried to eat salad when I can in some restaurants, yeah. but I like the food here. Yeah, I only want to drink water here, yeah. so, <laughs> yeah. I'm Brett Kelfus. And I'm Miles Howell. And you're watching 60 Second Announcements. Guess what? Highland's having a 5K on May 7th at 9 a.m. The event is open to all members of the community, and the proceeds benefit leukemia and lymphoma societies. So if you have $10 burning a hole in your pocket, be sure to pre-register today. Or if you have $15 burning a hole in your pocket, you can register the day of the event. 
Do you like dressing up as a bee? I know I do. So why not audition to be the Highland Hornet mascot? Auditions will be held on May 9th at 4 in the cafeteria. Fill out a form in the main office if you're interested, which I know you are. So there you have it, ladies and gents, all of our announcements in under 60 seconds. If we missed something or you'd like to mention your club or organization in the next episode, let us know at Highland underscore Buzz. And we will see you next time. Well, Highland, that's it for this episode. If you like the show, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Highland underscore Buzz. And don't forget to ask your teachers to show the buzz every other Friday in class. See you next time.